let's take a look at how we can generate um, custom created drawings from this 3D model. Now one process like in furniture design is you do shop drawings and then you make a model. Well, you could also make a model digitally and then create the drawings from it. In architecture, the same. We can start in AutoCAD and then in SketchUp make a model, or we build a 3D model, explore it, and then send it back, and from that create the architectural drawings. In Shaper, we are going to create an elevation view drawing from here. So let's start, make a construction plane, offset from here, and then all we need to do Zack, zack, zack. Select all these faces, select this, and project there. Because here I have two edges. I have also here two edges. So I delete them. And that's it. See, pretty easy. Let's hide the roof, the choice. We can go to here, select this, and this, select this and project there in it easy what about the roof maybe i would like to know how this would look onto here and project there maybe in addition this view so I do an overlay and then I should also be complete and select this edge maybe. Project this in. So there you see now I only have this one line, the horizontal line is missing. So I will select the construction plane uh, with, my, uh, with a finger double tap so I can draw in it. And there put this one in. Now we can hide also this plane. So you see, this is actually pretty, pretty easy to create these drawings. Do we maybe want to have, uh, what about beam? Let's see, how could this look? Uh, double tap an object. I never did this, so let's try this out. Select the plane. And okay. Uh, no, that didn't really do oh, yeah there it is cool so even that works double tap double tap select this project ah oh, then actually it, it tries to put this onto an object so i have to do this object by object here you see what happened and actually it put the um, the top and the bottom ring onto it there the circle does not have sharp edges. So this disk got projected in as a line. Here, project, there you can see there's the line. So from there then I would have to draw the missing lines down, whoops. Oh, come on. There, thank you. You to there, project. Nice. Look how easy that is. Okay, no? Very nice. So let's let's keep it at this. We could also add the choice and all the stuff, etc. But how do we get this now into AutoCAD. Well, very easy. Export, sketches, and then I can export this as a DWG or DXF. And it also says there, uh, dimension the sketches, dimension sketches to, so let's say like DWG, include dimensions, but only log dimensions will be included. So it means everything that got a dimension, a line that has no dimension doesn't it only the line gets uh, exported but a dimension will not be added to it here we have an option to include all the hidden sketches too 
No, right now we only see this one. And each sketch we can copy into each own file. It's also pretty nice. I will go this way. And oh, let's go back. Sorry. And I will call this glow. Very good. And continue. Since I'm on a Mac, um, I could save this to iCloud, or you can, you can also include, for example, Google Drive, all other versions. I will actually go share with and use AirDrop to bring this over to the Mac there. Okay. So let's also get the model over. There we are. So here, export, because um, SketchUp doesn't import OBJ, we have to use STL, so 3D print, glow, advanced, inch, continue. Also here, I share it this way. And there we are. So in SketchUp, I go import. There's my DWG. There we are. And when I go import, for example, STL, uh, yeah, I think feet we have to use here. Import. There it is. Okay. So um, let's go back to Shaper for the moment. I will hide all this and turn all those off. Very good. Here, export this. Plan view. Uh, yep. And share. One more time. So there you see where this actually was put in. So let's do a test. We select our imported geometry and then do an overlay. Yep, you see, one to one, perfectly fits in. When we export everything from this, is the only um, process to keep in mind. So when we import something from concepts, geometry wise. So I will do it now this way, piece by piece. There's the roof. Okay, it's all good. Very nice. And now I hide this, go architecture. Um, this, for example, I, I hide. Foundation I hide. This I bring over. Call this wall. And I just select it in Shaper the wall. Okay. There it is. Okay, you see actually they snap perfectly into position. Okay. And now I could say, hey, all these three, 
that's a very easy geometry. And also here, and I don't know how to, what to call this stuff. And everything very nicely snaps right into position there. Let's go back here to Shaper one more time. Let's go where are the joists. There they are. And maybe here the posts. Now maybe all this we push out together. There and there. Okay. Imports. Very nice. Okay. So, ideally, do I have to bring everything over where this DWG is? No, honestly, I bring the DWG over where my mesh is. So, every time when, for example, I bring something from Shaper over, it snaps into the correct position, but this way you now I have everything nicely in groups. Um, also here you can see sometimes groups are fused together, sometimes not. And it's unfortunately a problem of SketchUp, but this method is not really that um, time consuming but it gets actually the model over really nicely and fast. And the thing is, this is a very solid uh, 3D model. It's very clean. So even if, let's say you have to, to model something that's organic or round, a, a house that has rounded walls and need to cut openings, which is really a pain to do in SketchUp, super easy in Shaper, and then we just bring it all over to here and then continue working in, in um, in SketchUp. Okay, and that's it.